In just 38 seconds, a state-of-the-art Boeing 787 plunged to the ground, engines dead, crew panicked, and no alarms blaring. Air India Flight 171 had barely lifted off from Ahmedabad when it vanished from radar, crashing less than 65 meters above the earth. Initial theories ranged from bird strike to sabotage, but the truth was far stranger. It wasn't fuel, fire, or foul play. When investigators finally cracked open the damaged black boxes, found scattered across rooftops and fields, they uncovered a chain of failures so bizarre, so preventable, it stunned even the experts. It all started with a captain's seat. That moved. Let's check it out. In the first 15 seconds of Air India Flight 171's takeoff, everything appeared normal. The aircraft was climbing smoothly, and the engines were stable. But at the 15-second mark, a shocking event occurred. The captain's seat slid backward by 30 centimeters. This unexpected movement disrupted the cockpit, and in a split second, the captain instinctively reached for the thrust levers to steady himself. Unfortunately, his action pulled both thrust levers to idle shutting down both engines nearly simultaneously. The cockpit voice recorder, or CVR, captured the chaos, with the captain and co-pilot yelling, My seat! and Mayday! No thrust! in desperation. What makes the situation even worse is that no audible alerts were triggered by the aircraft's systems, no warning sounds, no immediate emergency signals. The toga, take-off and go-around button, which should have provided emergency thrust, failed to respond. In less than 30 seconds, both engines lost thrust while the aircraft was still only 65 meters above the ground. The crew had no time to react. The black box data confirmed that the engines were still functional before the incident, but the combination of the captain's reflex and the design flaws, the untested seat pin, and the lack of a physical lock on the thrust levers led to the catastrophic loss of power. The tragedy was not caused by engine failure, but by the interplay of human instinct and an aircraft design that failed to prevent such a critical error. While the immediate cause of the crash might seem like the captain's reflexive action on the thrust levers, the true story behind Air India Flight 171's tragic end is far more complex. To understand this, we need to dig deeper into the factors that set the stage for the disaster from the exhaustion of the flight crew to the systemic failures within Boeing's design and maintenance processes. Despite having over 12,000 flight hours, the captain of Flight 171 was not immune to the effects of fatigue. In the 36 hours leading up to the crash, the flight crew had endured a relentless schedule with multiple takeoffs, landings, and coordination between airports. While they stayed within legal working hour limits, the psychological toll of such a demanding schedule is often invisible. Fatigue can dull reflexes and cloud decision-making, and biometric data from the crew indicated that they were indeed operating under extreme exhaustion. This made it harder for them to react quickly when the unexpected happened, a critical factor when every second counts in an emergency. On top of this, the crew had not received full training on the latest software updates for the Boeing 787, which had been released just two months earlier. They were never exposed to the changes in the cockpit layout, and simulation training hours were skipped. This left them unfamiliar with the updated controls, which undoubtedly contributed to the confusion when the seat malfunction occurred. Maintenance oversights also played a role in the disaster. The seat's locking pin, which failed and triggered the captain's seat to slide back, had been repaired just 11 days before the crash. However, no safety tests were conducted after the repair leaving the seat vulnerable to failure. Furthermore, maintenance logs for the aircraft were found to be suspiciously inconsistent, with some signatures appearing before the work had even been done. This indicated potential negligence or even falsification of records, raising questions about the integrity of the entire maintenance process. But the failures didn't stop there. Boeing's design flaws were a critical piece of the puzzle. The thrust levers lacked a fail-safe mechanism leaving them vulnerable to accidental inputs like the captain's instinctive grab. Worse, 
Internal Boeing reports had flagged concerns about the seat pin's durability, warning that it could fail under certain conditions, but those warnings were ignored. The combination of these oversights, fatigue, lack of training, poor maintenance, and design flaws, created a perfect storm that led to the tragic crash. These issues weren't isolated to just one incident either. They were symptoms of a broader problem within the aviation industry and Boeing itself, where cost-cutting measures and rushed production schedules sometimes take precedence over safety protocols. As the investigation unfolded, it became clear that these hidden killers, fatigue, oversight, and flawed design, had played a far larger role in the crash than anyone had originally realized. Boeing's response to the Air India 171 crash, or rather, its lack of response, was as frustrating as it was predictable. This wasn't the first time the aerospace giant had faced a crisis stemming from overlooked design flaws and ignored warnings. The history of avoidable disasters seems to be repeating itself, with a pattern of corporate negligence stretching all the way back to the 737 MAX tragedies. What's truly maddening is how Boeing has handled these situations. The same excuses seem to appear again and again. Pilot error, rare event, difficult to reproduce. These phrases were used to justify the deadly crashes of Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, both of which were tied to the flawed MCAS system. Similarly, after the Air India 171 disaster, Boeing offered no real explanation, leaving experts and the public to connect the dots themselves. The similarities between these cases, the lack of transparency, the delay in addressing known issues, and the dismissive corporate attitude are striking. One of the most glaring issues surrounding the Air India 171 crash is the failure to address internal warnings. Engineers within Boeing had raised concerns about the durability of the seat locking pin system for the 787 series. They noted that the pin could fail if not properly tightened, yet these warnings were never escalated to upper management. The failure to address these red flags is not just irresponsible, it's outright dangerous. As one FAA official put it, if instinct can shut down both engines, that's not human error. That's a design flaw. While some alternative theories were floated in the aftermath of the crash, including sabotage or a bird strike, both were quickly debunked. The bird strike theory seemed plausible given Ahmedabad's history with bird-related accidents, but the chances of both engines failing simultaneously due to a bird strike are astronomically rare, about 2.5 billion to 1 odds. And sabotage, the black box data made it clear that there was no sign of any external interference with the flight systems, and the aircraft's engines couldn't have been remotely shut down. Yet, in the face of overwhelming evidence that design flaws and maintenance failures played a direct role in the crash, Boeing remained silent. They didn't acknowledge the seat design flaw or commit to any changes. This silence has sparked outrage, especially when you consider the financial and emotional toll this crash will have. Boeing, a company that once symbolized the pinnacle of aviation safety, is now facing widespread scrutiny, with their credibility hanging in the balance. But this wasn't just an embarrassing moment for Boeing, it was a financial disaster as well. The cost of the aircraft alone was over $125 million, with the insurance payout expected to be around $80 million for the hull and another $30 to $50 million in liability. The families of the victims were left with temporary assistance, but legal experts predict that Boeing could face a much larger payout, possibly exceeding $100 million in international lawsuits. This is no longer just about fixing a broken system. It's about holding a corporation accountable for the lives it's affected. The world is watching, and the pressure is mounting. Boeing's history of avoiding responsibility has made it clear that unless the company changes its ways, disasters like Air India 171 will continue to cast a long shadow over the aviation industry. The financial consequences of Air India Flight 171's crash are profound. The Boeing 787, a $125 to $175 million aircraft, was brought down by a seat component worth under $10,000. The insurance payout for the hull is estimated at $80 million, but the real financial burden comes from liability compensation, 
Victims' families are set to receive payouts between $30 million and $50 million, with international lawsuits potentially pushing Boeing's total liabilities into the hundreds of millions. The Tata Group, Air India's parent company, has pledged 10 million rupee, around $100,000, per victim's family, but experts warn the final figures could be much higher. Boeing now faces a growing legal storm, especially considering its history with the 737 MAX crisis. Yet this case isn't just about money, it's about accountability. Boeing's inability to address known design flaws and negligence in maintenance procedures has left it vulnerable to global lawsuits and intensified scrutiny of its practices. The crash has triggered calls for sweeping industry reforms. The FAA has already acted, mandating 24-hour cockpit voice recorders on all U.S. aircraft, a step driven by the need for better data and quicker responses to crises like Air India 171. However, the financial and legal fallout is only the beginning. The true legacy of Flight 171 will be in how the industry adapts moving forward. The crash exposed major cracks in pilot training, fatigue management, and maintenance oversight. Every checklist, inspection, and cockpit design will now be re-examined. The Air India 171 disaster serves as a stark reminder. The aviation industry must learn from its mistakes. If the lessons from this crash aren't taken seriously, the next disaster could be waiting just around the corner. As a permanent memorial is planned at the crash site, it will serve as a reminder of the human cost of systemic failures. Yet the true tribute to those lost will be the industry-wide changes that prevent similar tragedies from occurring. The black box, once simply a recorder of tragic final moments, now demands something greater, a call for lasting change in aviation safety. The industry's response to this disaster will determine whether Flight 171 becomes a turning point or just another in a long line of avoidable accidents.